Uh, at this point, I'm just about to go into the mall and I want to do some shopping. It's pretty simple. I hope I see some people that I can smile to and uh, that, that's about it. Well, at this point, Entering the mall itself, it's a public space indoors, it's against the bylaw at this point. Um, are you planning on walking in there? Because at this um, point there's security at every door. My understanding is that it's not against the bylaw because the bylaw includes exemptions um, and the exemptions apply to me. But uh, if I am asked to leave the premises, I will do so and I will um, pursue the matter legally at another time, but there's no intention whatsoever to trespass. Do you have a medical certification from some doctor telling you that you can't wear a mask? Um, I'm going to keep that private, and I would like to state that it is not necessary to have a medical certification. That's actually not true. The doctors, the, uh, the medical officer of health has stated it has to be a medical reason to not wear the mask. If you look at the, uh, the, the new bylaw itself, it states that no proof is required for exemptions, and there's a list of about six exemptions. Uh, the the earlier health mandate stated the different kinds of exemptions more explicitly, um, gave more variety. It also said that proof is not required for the exemptions. Yeah. Curry, any idea how many people you expect to maybe see inside without masks? Actually, I have no idea. I deliberately didn't ask because I don't want people to end up congregating together unnecessarily because as much as we may object to some measures, um, I would say that social distancing makes some sense. So I would like everyone to keep reasonable di distance from each other and just go shopping normally. Do you think you're going to get in there? Um, I think probably. But we'll see. Are, are you a social activist by nature? Do you tend to take up causes when you um, are really passionate about something, Curry? Yeah, a little bit. Um, I'm also interested in obstetric violence. And that is a matter that overlaps with this one because there's a central theme, thematic question of, is it okay to coerce or force medical treatment on another person for the sake of someone else, or for the ostensible benefit of someone else? And I think our human rights legislation states that it's not okay, but it seems that in some instances, people believe it's okay. And I think we need to continue having that discussion.